Hi boys and girls, we're ready for another OG lesson today. We're gonna start by tapping out our sounds in a word. You need your tapping hand, you're not writing hand. Here we go. Let's do this word wish. Wish. Three phonemes, three sounds. How about club? Club. Four sounds, four phonemes. How about jump? Jump. Four sounds, four phonemes. How about last? Last. Four sounds, four phonemes. How about the word tree? Tr. E. Three sounds, three phonemes. How about boy? B. Boy. Two sounds, two phonemes. One more. How about the word west? W. Est. Four sounds, four phonemes. Let's review. Some of our closed syllable words we've been reading has a consonant on the end and our vowel says it's sound. The sound of e eh or a ah or a uh or i. Eh. Here we go. You read these at the same time as me. Shut, path, when, chug, moss, less, pass, ship, chip. Those two words rhyme. They look almost the same. Let's read these again, but a little bit smoother, like we're talking. Shut, path, when, chug, moss, less, pass, ship, chip. Let's see. I know these two words rhyme. Ship and chip, they're in the ip family. Do we have any others? Oh, I don't think we do. We were close. These all have SS, but they have a different vowel. So let's see. I'm thinking of a word, and it means it's a synonym to close. If you close a door, you shut the door. I'm thinking of a wor word, and it's kind of a synonym to a drink. You take a big drink, or you chug it when you're really thirsty. I'm thinking of a word, and it can be a question word when you're wanting to know what time something is. You might say, when. I'm thinking of a word, and it can be a synonym to give sometimes. I need you to give me that book. I need you to pass me that book. I'm thinking of a word, and it's a synonym to a boat, a big boat, a ship. All right, let's read these. Read these if you like to ride a bike. Shut, path, when, chug, moss, less, pass, ship, chip. Let's read these one more time. If you like to jump rope. Shut, path, when, chug, moss, less, pass, ship, chip. Now remember this SS we just started talking about that. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel s is spelled SS, yes. All right, this time you shout out the word so I can hear you before I say it next it out. Here we go. When, chip, less, pass, shut, Chug, ship, moss, path. Good. Now we've got something new to learn today. We talked about the SS, but now look. We've got something else at the end. That means it goes at the end. LL that says all. So it's not saying just one L. One L says L. We've got LL that says all. And we have a rule to help us remember to write LL. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, ul is spelled LL. So it's almost like the SS rule, except we say LL. So let's take a look. Look at these words with LL. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, where it says it's Sound, ul is spelled L-L, ul. So let's practice, you echo me. Hill, 
still, fill, doll, will, drill, gill, smell, mill. Ah, let's read these again a little bit smoother. You read at the same time as me. Hill, still, fill, doll, will, drill, gill, smell, mill. All right, so let's talk about some of these words. A drill is a tool sometimes when you're putting things together and you need to screw in something but it can also be something you're practicing. Like when you play basketball or softball, you have to go through drills. You practice a skill. You know a gill is on a fish to help it breathe. And a mill is like a place, like a factory that can grind up things. Like it can grind up the um, wheat to make flour. All right, let's read these again. Read these. If you like to play with a ball, whether it's football or basketball or kickball, here we go. Hill, still, fill, doll, will, drill, gill, smell, mill. Can we read these again? If you like to go to the park and play. Hill, Still, fill, doll, will, drill, gill, smell, mill. So not all of these rhyme. They all have LL, but remember they have to have the same vowel. So let's look. I see a lot of ILLs. Hill, still, fill, will, mill, gill. Drill. Those are the rhyming words. Doll and smell don't have a rhyming word. All right, this time you shout the word out before I say it next it out. Here we go. Fill, smell, will, drill, still, doll, mill, fill. Good job. So our new rule, at the end of a one-syllable word after one short vowel, ol is spelled L-L. When we hear that ol sound, we know to write L-L, just like the SS. All right, let's find our paper, put our name and our date, and we'll get ready to write. Here we go. Write me the lowercase letter that says V as in van, a V, right? Write me the lowercase letter that says a, ah, as in apple, a. Write me the lowercase letter that says n, mm, as in nest. Write me the lowercase letter that says aw, ah, as in ox. Write me the lowercase letter that says s, as in snake. Now listen to this. The next one, at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, s is spelled, remember what we say? S-S, like in miss or kiss. All right, the next one, write me the lowercase letter that says j, as in jam. I'm going to put this here on the SS to mean it comes at the end of a word only. The next one, write me the lowercase letters that say th, as in thumb, T-H. The next one, write me the lowercase letter that says k, as in cat. Ooh, it's a C. The next one, write me the lowercase letter that says w, as in whistle. W H. Next one, write me the lowercase letter that says I as in itch. It's an I. The next one, write me the lowercase letter that says K as in box. It's an X, 
right. All right, we're ready to tap out our words to help us spell. Here we go. Our first one is the word less. L S O at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel. S is spelled S S. L E S S, less. The next one is wish. Ready? W ish. Three sounds, but four letters. Now it's w as in wagon, because wish is not a question word. W ish. W I S H. The next one is the word shut. Ready? Sh ut. Three sounds, but four letters. S H. Uh, U T. The next word is chin. Ch in. Three sounds, but four letters. Ch in. C H I N. All right. Now at our diamond, we're writing about our new sound. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, O is spelled L L. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, O is spelled L L. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, O is spelled L L. Let's flip our paper over. We're gonna Practice some closed syllable. These are still closed syllable words. Our vowel says it sound with the LL. Here we go. Our first word, let's get ready to tap. You tap too, is will. W, ill. W, as in wagon. Just a W, w ill. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, O is spelled L L W I L L. Our next one is still. St ill. Oh, four sounds, but five letters. St ill. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, O is spelled L L S T I L L. Our next word is smell. Smell. Oh, four sounds, but five letters. Smell. S-M-E-L-L. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel. O is spelled L-L. Our last one is doll. D Oh, three sounds, four letters. D oh, D O L L. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, O is spelled L L. Let's go back and read these together. You read them with me. Will, still, smell, doll. All right, we don't have a brand new memory word. We had it yesterday, but it's a tricky, it's a toughie. We see this a lot in books. S-A-I-D says said. Mm, my mom said I need to come home. You said I could do that. Let's sky right, get your best superpower arm. Here we go. S-A-I-D says said. S A I D says said. S A I D says said. Let's spell it as we write it. S A I D says said. 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 Pen down. Let's look at it two more times. Let's sky right. Here we go. S A I D says said. S A 
I D says said. Can you close your eyes and do it? S A I D says said. Can you do it without looking? Are you better at it today? Let's check. S A I D says said. All right. Do you remember how to spell that memory word your? It's almost like you. That is your coat. Y O U R says your. Do you remember how to spell that word were? That means in the past. We were on vacation. That means you're back. You're, you already did it. We were at the store. You're back. You already did it. It means in the past. W E R E says were. All right, let's get ready for our sentence. Let's write on our paper cups. C for capital, O for order, P for punctuation, S for spelling. Could be a telling sentence, could be an asking sentence with a question mark. Could show expression and need an exclamation point. C, we go from left to right when we read and write. Edge to edge. Here is our sentence. The hill is tall. Ooh, let's count our words. The hill is tall. Only four words. So let's start with our capital, the. With the uppercase T. The, face the space, hill. Do we need to tap out? Hill. Oh, at the end of a one syllable word, after one short vowel, O is spelled L-L. The hill is tall. T all. Remember that chunk that says all? T all. Like in ball, A L L. The hill is tall. Now I'm just telling you, it's a telling sentence. I'm telling you, the hill is tall. Let's count one, two, three, four words. The hill is tall. All right, good job today, boys and girls.